we need it when we are dying. Uh, the Dhamma practice whole life is mainly purpose for next life. At the point of time, then you have chance to get enlightened, become inseparable with the Shito deities. When you die, then first week, peaceful deities appear. Second, wrathful deities appear. So these are mentioned in this book. This is the most important uh, practice and uh, subject to learn in life before you die. Otherwise, you will have trouble at the dying time if you didn't give attention to this knowledge. You have to be humble. Even great lamas in being humble, the Patrimbachi called himself Begabound. Begabound means he doesn't need anything. He's begging and walking. He got enough food. That's the Buddha's way of good. Sangha practice that way. Emptiness is the, like a clear sky. Emptiness is so profound. You have to work hard to realize that. It needs compassion. Emptiness and compassion all is inseparable. This we call method and wisdom. Wisdom is emptiness. Method is compassion, loving and these four measureless thoughts, loving kindness, compassion, rejoice, and the economy. Yeah. Six parameters. This emptiness uh, is practice. This always practice with your phenomena. This phenomena has appeared. It's essence empty. Because of the empty, emptiness power, it appears, but it dissolves back to emptiness. But it's unceasing quality, it appears again, never stop appearing. This uh, like two wings you can fly. If you lack one wing, Wing weak, then you cannot fly. That means you cannot get enlightened. <laughs> I try to keep myself humble, myself be patient, my attendants and the family relatives always. Argue, we argue at the meal time or leisure time. They make, they think they are right. I think I am right. <laughs> <laughs>